Hi guys, Joseph the World here, and today we're going to be talking yet again about another disgusting nonce. This on screen you'll see now is called Keith Webster, a man from Hull who travelled over 60 miles to Leeds to come meet up with what he thought to be a 13 year old girl. Keith was 53 of Hull and added a girl called Katie on Facebook and messaged her. Uh, and despite the 13-year-old, or what he thought to be a 13-year-old, luckily it was a decoy. Anyway, despite what the decoy, the fake 13-year-old, stated her name multiple times, the conversations persisted over a two-month period between July and September 2017, and the pair arranged to meet in Leeds for intercourse. They talked about, and he asked if there was any cheap hotels that they could stay under for the night while they did disgusting things. Luckily, it wasn't a 13-year-old, it was a decoy by the vigilante slash predator hunting group called Innocent Keepers, and they obviously confronted him and got him arrested on the spot. Also, one of the messages, he called her sexy and... Even though he was aware of her age, he asked if she was going back to school soon as well. He also kept saying how much he was looking forward to and excited for meeting up with her and doing disgusting things to what he thought to be a 13-year-old girl. Let me just emphasise that point. He also sent two indecent images of his you-know-what, and when he arrived in Leeds, that's when he was confronted by the Predator Hunting Group where he went to admit that this was him talking to this 13-year-old in such a manner, but said he wouldn't actually have done anything with her, even though the texts proved that wrong. After the police came and arrested him, and in court, um, Webster, the whole nonce, pleaded, pleaded guilty to attempting to meet a child under the age of 16 for sexual activity, causing and inciting a child or into engage in sexual activity and attempting to engage a child in sexual communication. Keith Webster's lawyer tried to get a suspended prison sentence. Luckily, the judge denied that request and said that uh, what he needed was a harsh punishment, so he sentenced him to 27 months in prison and put him on a sexual harm prevention order, or SHPO, for 10 years. He also must be on the sex offenders, sex offenders register for another 10 years as well. And even though I am glad that he got a longer sentence, and even though I am glad that the judge denied the lawyer's request, I still think he should have got a much longer. Again, this man was willing to travel over 60 miles to come meet up with what he thought to be a 13-year-old girl. So it shows he had every intention to follow through in everything he said he was going to do in those messages. But that's all the information I have on the dude. I believe he's probably out by now, but at least he's still on the SHPO order. But God knows if anything's happened to the dude afterwards. Anyway, that's been Joseph the World. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. And also, we're literally just like one subscriber, one one subscriber away from 700, so please subscribe. And <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.